Hey, so in this video, we're going to be solving Newton's second law word problems. So um, first, I'm just going to go over a couple with you. They, sh You shouldn't find them too difficult after um, we've been doing word problems so far this semester. So rearranging the formula. So of course, the original formula is F equals MA, where F is force. It's always going to be measured in Newtons. Where M is mass, it's always going to be measured in kilograms. And A is acceleration, which is measured in meters per second squared. All right, so um, here we have the original equation written. You can also simplify it, F equals M times A, instead of saying it all the way out. If you want to solve for mass, so you want mass on a side by itself, right? You'd have to divide by acceleration on both sides. So that's why to solve for mass, you're going to have to divide by acceleration. So mass is force divided by the acceleration. Um, if you take this equation here, and now you want to solve for acceleration, um, you can use this equation or this equation to give you acceleration. It's a little bit easier to use the top equation. Um, so for that example, you'd be solving for acceleration. So now you'd have to divide by mass on both sides. So to solve for acceleration, you're going to divide force divided by the mass. So acceleration is equal to force divided by the mass. So you can write these down. You can rearrange the formulas as you solve the word problem. Um, you can memorize these three versions of the equation, or you can organize it in a triangle. So if you know that the original equation is F equals MA, you know that the equation means that mass and acceleration are always going to be multiplied. So if you use this triangle, which we've talked about already in physics class, down here on this triangle, these bottom rows, whatever rows are on bottom, they are multiplied. So the mass and acceleration are on bottom. It doesn't matter if A is here and M is here. It's the same thing. It's fine. And then this line is going to be representing a division symbol. So... Um, just to remind you again how the triangle works, if you were solving for acceleration, all right, that means that you're going to do force divided by the mass. If maybe you're solving for the mass, you would then do the force divided by the acceleration. Or um, maybe you are solving for the force so you're solving for force. So that means you're going to do mass times acceleration. So whichever method works best for you, do that for these three word problems. Um, as we do these word problems, I suggest you pausing after I've read the problem. See if you can work it by yourself and then just listen to the correct answer. Um, all right. So first one out of the three. An object with a mass of two kilograms. So first we're given that the mass is two kilograms. So I'm going to write mass is 2 kg, accelerates 2.0 meters per second squared. So we're also given the acceleration, 2 meters per second squared, when an unknown force is applied to it. What is the amount of force? So we are solving for the amount of force. So we're looking for F. All right, so I always write my original equation, F equals MA. Then I'm going to substitute. I'm going to plug in everything that I know. So force, we don't know. I'm just going to write an F, equals mass times acceleration. Well, my mass was 2 kilogram, and my acceleration was 2 meters per second squared. So 2 times 2 is 4. And remember, we're looking at force. How much force? Force is always measured in newtons. All right, so your answer should be 4 newtons. Okay, let's look at number two. So now we have an object that accelerates three meters per second squared. So the acceleration now is three meters per second squared. When a force of six newtons, so we're also given six newtons, was the force applied. So F equals six N. What is the mass of the object? So here we are now looking for the mass. So as always, I'm gonna write the original equation. Next step, I'm going to plug in everything that I was given. So do I know the force? Yeah, I knew the force. It was 6 newtons. So 6 newtons equals, well, what was the mass? Well, we're looking for the mass. So I'm going to write an M.
times, what was the acceleration? It was 3 meters per second squared. So we need to solve for m, right? We need to have m on a side by itself. So to do that, we're going to have to divide by 3 meters per second squared on both sides. And then whenever we do this, it cancels out. On this side, you're left with just m. So m equals 6 divided by 3 is going to give you 2. And again, we're looking at mass. Mass is, has a unit of kilogram. So our mass is 2 kilogram. That's the mass of the object, 2. All right, last one. An object with a mass of 2 kilograms, so a mass of 2 kilograms, m equals 2 kg, has a force of 4 newtons applied, 4 newtons applied, so force equals 4 newtons. What is the resulting acceleration of the object? So for this one, we're looking for the acceleration. So as always, write the original equation. Then we're going to plug in. So what was the force? It was 4 newtons. Equals, what was the mass? It was 2 kilograms. And then times acceleration. We're looking for acceleration, so we're just going to write an A. Um, so we are looking for acceleration. We need it on a side by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 2 kilograms. So we're going to divide by 2 kilograms on both sides. And the right-hand side is canceled out. We're left with just A. Equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we're, our answer is um, acceleration, so our units is going to be meters per second squared. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave a comment.